Hey, what's with the silent treatment? Um, excuse me, Mr. Wright. You've done a good job of fingering a criminal. But out of curiosity, what was her crime? Um, Miss Barry gave a pepper-covered scarf to Bat as a present. Where's the crime in that? It still seems like the judge just doesn't get it. Bon Karma does. Mr. Phoenix Knight, wasn't it said that the lion seemed to be smiling? Smiling? The lion was smiling? Right before Bat was bit by the lion. For a moment, the lion's mouth changed and he looked like he was smiling. Lion smile? I've never heard of them smiling. However, lions sneeze. <laughs> Leon wasn't trying to bite Bat at all. In reality, all he actually did was sneeze. He sneezed because of all the pepper on the scarf. <laughs> what? It? You fool! You've got to be kidding me. What's the matter, Miss Von Karma? I... I... D I object! For... D objection sake! Mr. Phoenix Knight, you... This theory... D you believe it? You really intend to say that this is how this joke of an accident actually happened? Of course I do. It's the truth. The lion sneezed due to the pepper, and that's when Bat lost consciousness. Acro nearly lost his brother due to this accident, or this joke, as you put it. Which is why he tried to get his revenge against Regina. You foolish idiot! <laughs> <laughs> It almost does seem like a terrible joke, doesn't it? Once again, I'm impressed by your imagination, Mr. Wright. <sighs> to think that there's someone who treats this accident with the respect it deserves. Are you telling me that what I said was true? Acro! You stoned me! You conned me! Fitness! Are you confirming the defense's claim? Mr. Wright. Unfortunately, your imagination is not enough to find me guilty of murder. What do you mean by that? The pepper, the scarf, the lion. I see where you're going, but it's a bit hard to swallow. Not to mention the fact that there's an even bigger problem with your theory. What would that problem be? The same problem it's always been. Evidence. If I dropped Max's bust on top of the Ringmaster, where is the evidence that proves that claim? Uh... Hmm. You mean the conclusive evidence? The biggest problem is the murder weapon, or the lack thereof, to be more precise. Murder weapon. The bust that the defense claim was used. If that were to be found in Acro's room, and if it was covered with the victim's blood, that would be awfully conclusive in my eyes. Yes, it would be. The bust. Nick, you gotta do something! This is the last step. If I get this one right, the case is won. Uh... See how things work out first, a request to search Acro's room. Are we going to find anything? We've been in Acro's room several times. The bus wasn't there. 
Not to mention, like, well, no, he couldn't send money out. I mean, theoretically, the bus would still have to be there, wouldn't it? Because there's no way that he could actually... There's no way that he could actually move it out without someone's help. And he was gone. Oh, wait a minute. Hold on a second. He was gone a whole day afterwards. But he, he still would have needed help. He would have needed help to... Well, we know that he left. We know that he left the scene for a whole day. Someone had to come up to get him to go and see Bat. So that gives plenty of time for him to get rid of the bust. Searching Acro's room won't do anything because he had a whole day to get rid of it. And we know that he left his room for a whole day. He had to have gotten out of his room. He wasn't there during the first day of investigation. He was gone to the hospital. Regardless of whether the hospital has where the bust is, he had a whole day to be able to to hide this bust. I don't think it's in Acro's room. He had all the time to get rid of it. Uh, I always hate doing this, but I'm just going to make another save state just to be on the safe side. I don't know. Getting an instant game over in the first game has me very paranoid. So yeah, I'm going to see how things work out. Because Acro's room isn't... I mean, it also doesn't give me any penalty, but that hasn't stopped the game from giving me an auto game over in the past. So, well, not this game, but the series. I'm going to see how things work out. Acro's room is going to be pointless because he had a whole day to get rid of the bust. So I don't think that's going to be anything that will be helpful. It might be worthwhile to search Acro's room, but... Why aren't you going to search his room? It looks like you finally figured things out, didn't you? Now you know the true meaning of Von Karma Total Justice. Yes. I figured with you, that's the least I should expect. You'd leave no stone unturned. A Von Karma never leaves anything to chance. We already searched Akro's room yesterday. What did you find? There's no reason to even say it. If we found what you think we found in that room, Akro would not be here as a witness. But, to put a point on it, Max's bust was not in the room. The murder weapon is still unaccounted for. You see, Mr. Wright, the bust wasn't in my room. Furthermore, Detective Dick Gumshoe executed the search by complete surprise. And we took Akro directly to the prosecutor's office after that. End of story. Just wait a second. Something's funny about all this. <laughs> it looks like you lacked the final nail to put into my coffin. But, but, what about the scarf? What about the note? What about them, Mr. Wright? No offense, but the only evidence that is relevant here is that which pertains to the death of the ringmaster. You should know that by now. Ugh! Do something, Nick! Don't let this case slip away! The bust! Where's it now? Hmm, where's the bust right now? The hospital, maybe? You're Phoenix Wright! You know where the that bust is! I'm sure you do! There's not even a single clue. How am I supposed to know where the bust is? Seems this case is coming to a close. The defense's counter arguments look to have fallen short. Thank you for your support. Ugh! I'm terribly sorry, Mr. Wright. I think that brings to an end to the cross examination of this witness. I'm a bit nervous that I just bit my tongue. 
Huh? What? We need time to do what? Ow! Maya, you was the most surprised person here! She's your age, isn't she? Do you really have a case to present, Mr. Wright? What? Are you asking me? The rest is up to you, Nick. Good luck! Hey, wait! You can't be serious! Acrobats always have their lives on the lines, don't they? That's how Acro's lived his life up until now. Now it's time for us to walk across our own tightrope. If we don't, we're certain to lose. Very well, the defense may proceed. He doesn't have a clue, and I don't think he'll be finding one anytime soon. Walking the tightrope of logic? Oh, there's no room for a false step. Sink or swim. The only way through is forward. Zimato weapon. Where is Max's bust now? Somewhere in the lodging house, somewhere in the big top, somewhere in this courtroom? Okay, I thought it would be at the hospital. Ugh. Okay, I do not believe it is at the lodging house. They search that place to the fullest. Ah, uh, is it with him in his, with his wheelchair? That, that's a doozy. That's a big doozy. I honestly thought it would be at the hospital. Ah. Uh. <laughs> The good news is, is that I put it down 50-50, so it's one or the other. It's either the courtroom or the big top. It's definitely not the logic house. Like I said, that place was searched all over, so it is not there. It can't be there. I honestly thought it was at the hospital, though. Hate reiterating that point, but that's where I honestly thought this was going. Um, I honestly think just for dramatic... For dramatic sake, I want to say it's <laughs> the bust was here the whole time. <laughs> I'm really tempted to do that because that's the most theatrical thing, and that's totally something this game would do. But that does make the most sense because he can't have gone through the big top. He's he's stuck in his wheelchair the whole time, so the only way that he could have gotten rid of it would have been to trust money. And, despite me always wanting to go back to money, I think that's a dead end. I don't think money really helped him aside from just getting him the bust in the first place. So, it's gotta be on his person, somehow! It's obvious! The bust is inside this very courtroom! It, it's obviously where? Allow me to pinpoint the location of the bus once and for all. Okay, is everything that the judge's bench? It's, it shouldn't be the prosecutor's bench because that's just withholding evidence. It's gotta be with him. Acro, I'm sorry to ask this, but do you mind if I take the blanket off your wheelchair? I'm sorry, I didn't quite hear you, Mr. Wright. Well, you are a big guy, and you have a pretty big wheelchair because of it. I just wanted to make sure you weren't hiding anything under that blanket. Because it seems to me that it'd be really easy to, say, hide a bust under there. <laughs> Once again, your penchant for humor hits me where it hurts, Mr. Wright. I think it's pretty amazing that you can laugh in your position. However, your lightheartedness doesn't change the fact that the bust is under there. We all know that you can't leave the lodging house by yourself in your condition. That proved inconvenient when Miss Von Karma happened to search your room yesterday. If she had found the murder weapon in your room, it would have been all over. Which is why you had to hide it, in the only place that you could hide it. Under your wheelchair. 
Which is why, Acro, I have to ask you again. Would you please remove the blanket from your lap? Well done, Mr. Wright. Masterfully played. You! You fool! How could you? You got me. I've been bagged by a real pro. Actually, two of them. Two of them? Maya. Oh! Ka Von Karma! Wait, what? Why, why, why her? Miss Francisca Von Karma and Mr. Phoenix Wright. What? There's just one thing I'd like to know. How'd you know the launch surprise search on my room last night? Huh? There were two pieces of decisive evidence. The cloak and the bust. I burned the cloak in my room and threw the ashes away with the trash. Tina always took my trash out every morning, you know. But the bust? Obviously I couldn't throw that away. When you executed your search, all I could do was try and hide the bust. The only place that I could hide it quickly was under this wheelchair. Miss Von Karma, you had things all figured out, didn't you? I was completely sucked in by your calculated strategy. Now to be caught in the middle of court hiding the murder weapon. <laughs> There's no way I can escape that. So, you've got me. Well done, Mr. Wright. Well done, Miss Von Karma. Hmm, it all makes sense now. I can't believe that Von Karma thought that far ahead. It's amazing! I don't think she did! <laughs> I think she's caught by surprise by this. Uh-huh. You definitely couldn't tell by looking at her. I know I sure couldn't. I can't believe it! Me! Make a mistake! Why did I order a surprise search of your room? If only I hadn't done that! It seems we've finally arrived at the truth. Acro. Yes, Your Honor. Did you kill the ringmaster of the very big circus, Mr. Russell Barry? Yes, Your Honor. I'm responsible for that crime. Acro. All my brother wanted was for Regina to like him. That's why he teased her. One day, my brother sprinkled some pepper on Regina. She started sneezing so hard, you couldn't help yourself from laughing. That's why Regina thought it'd be funny to get him back in the same way. And that's why she covered the scarf with pepper. I know she didn't mean for anything bad to happen. I know this. She just wanted to make my brother sneeze a few times too. But I just couldn't forgive her. No matter what. What am I truly guilty of? I'm guilty of never, ever being able to understand her. Your brother became a star. Regina believes in that so purely that she would laugh innocently when saying it. Too innocently! I just couldn't stand it, no matter how hard I tried. That's when you decided to do something about Regina. How did it fall? So are you saying that you are a victim in all of this as well? <laughs> no, that's not what I mean. I'm... I'm nothing but a murderer. That's who I am. At first, I thought I'd kill myself. Then I'd ponder giving myself up. But... I couldn't just up and leave. I just couldn't. Not yet. That's why... I tried... To pin this on Max! Max, I'm... I'm so sorry! I just... I just... I just couldn't get up and leave yet. This has been such a strange case. It's almost a reflection of the circus itself. I'm... And... 
idiot! I can't believe it! You beat me! Again! I believe this case is now beyond any point of possible discussion. Thus, I'd like to declare my verdict. Not guilty. This court is adjourned. <laughs> Fabulous! But to be honest, I can't really be too happy about this. Acro, the Ringmaster, Regina, and Bat? Not a single one of them was a bad person inside, huh? That's a good question, and one I don't know the answer to. Many congrats! But only at max a million of them! <laughs> Thank you. What's with the vibe in this room? We're just thinking about Acro. No, 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 no. If you worry about people too much, then you'll be like this forever and never be happy. Huh? <laughs> She's been like this for a while now. <laughs> it's all my fault! <laughs> Sweetie. Sweetie Pie. Bad and Hacro! They're never coming back! Now, now everyone's gonna split up! Regina? Mr. Wright, tell me something! What do you want to know, Regina? Acro said something right at the end! I just couldn't up and leave you. Does that mean that Acro? Is he gonna try and get his revenge on me? I don't think so. I think he's learned his lesson. He's not going to do that to you, Regina. Are you sure? Are you really sure? I can believe that! Yep. Acro doesn't have any desire for revenge anymore. If that's true, then I want to see some evidence! Huh? I want to know you're not just making that stuff up about Acro not wanting revenge! Oh, crap. I was hoping to save because... Oh, boy. Uh, <laughs> oh, man. I don't want to get this wrong, because I think I only get one shot at it, and if I don't, then it's just kind of one of those things that's left in indecisive. Oh, Acro not wanting revenge. I mean... He did try to give us the scarf. Um... None of this really seems to be anything. I honestly can't think of anything that would be that. Is it just the scarf? I'm gonna say the scarf. He did try to give this to us before Regina came and took it away. Um... I honestly do not. I. Uh, 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 I'm gonna say the scarf. Take that. So what about this? Now do you understand? There's no need to worry. Uh, uh, you're lying to me. Yeah, I got it wrong. No one ever tells me the truth. No one ever tells me what's going on. Ugh, looks like I made a mistake with that one. Poor Regina. I, I honestly don't know what it would have been, to be honest. Yeah, I, I, I honestly don't know. Hey, Max? What is it, Mo? We really put you through a lot, didn't we, buddy? I'm sorry about what happened. So, whenever you'd like to leave us, I'll pay your fee and rip up the contract. I understand. Fabulous thing to do for me. I might even leave tomorrow.
What's going to happen to the circus now? Uh, that's the big question. Our ringmaster was really an amazing person, wasn't he? Hmm? Even though he's not here anymore, everyone is sticking together. The staff, the performers, no one wants to leave the circus. That's why I've made a decision. What is it? I've decided that I will take over as the new ringmaster. I'll turn the circus into the best circus this world has ever seen! <laughs> the best circus the world has ever seen. D don't laugh! That's quite the goal. Yeah, I can't wait! Then I guess that changes things. Huh? There's only one thing the best circus the world has ever seen needs. The world's best illusions. Which means this circus needs the best magician the world has ever seen! Max, let's work together and make our circus super fabulous! What do you say, big guy? I don't know what to say. All I can say is, thank you. Uh, Regina? You're gonna help them out too, aren't you? Um, I don't know. Maybe the circus would be better off without me. What are you talking about, Regina? Why do you think that I brought you to court today? Uh... We've got to work together to make the very big circus bigger than it's ever been! Mo. Moe's right, sweetie pie. It can't be the very big circus without Regina Berry! Nick! Seems everything is going to turn out alright here. Oh, I can't wait to go see the best circus the world has ever seen! We'll save you the most fabulous seats! It'll take us a while to get ready, but I'm going to order special whoopee cushion seats! <laughs> see what made the case yesterday's surprise raid really paid off just like you said it would sir um you had it all figured out didn't you it was just a theory if acro really was the killer i thought this was the only way it could end especially if he was the defense attorney you mean mr right Course. Well, Detective, my plane is about to leave. As for Mr. Acro's case, you need not worry. I plan to personally stop by the Chief Prosecutor's office as soon as I get back. Understood, sir. I'll be waiting for you, Mr. Edgeworth. Yeah, I had a feeling that once Gumshoe was on the line, it was Edgeworth. All right. And that's gonna be the end of the game next time. I was told that there were four cases. I thought that there would be a bonus one like there would have been at the end of the first game, but I guess not. <laughs> but we are going to call it a day here. So next time on Let's Play Phoenix Wright, Ace Attorney, Justice for All. We move on to the fourth and it looks to be final case. And we finally get a return of Miles Edgeworth. So until next time, everyone, take care.